what we're going to do. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to use the pick of that halogen and I'm going to create space around this bolt. I can go on the bottom, the top, the side, whatever. I'm creating space in the door. Okay? Now, one thing that guys will usually do is they'll come up and they hit this pick straight in. Now, what you run the risk of doing is you hit it straight in and leave a bit of this door that we're going to tear apart attached to hold on to that bolt. And I want to create space to put that bolt in. So I'm going to angle my pick back towards the bolt wherever I hit it in to make sure that hole stays in line with it. Hit. Hit. Drive. Stop. Now I'm all the way in. I'm going to create a bit more space. Make that hole nice and big. Now, come out. You can see I angled down. There's actually no metal on that. Probably pop that up and just stick it through right now. Okay. So I'm going to take my ads. Now we're going to drive it through. And again, I'm not going to go straight through. I'm going to angle it towards wherever I made the hole to push it up into that space. Hit. Hit. It's uh, on the driveway back it's there. Long gone. Yeah. yeah. It's in the trash can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Now, if we do not have it fly over into their yard somewhere, so let's not do that with all of them. Um, and it's still hanging under the door. Is that a fail? No. It's like a B plus. Okay. Our objective is to make space. So even if all I do is punch that bolt back through and it's still holding on, I've still moved it two, three inches back that way. So when we go back to gap set forcing this door, I'm going to get two or three inches more than I ever had before, which is probably going to be more than enough to get the thickness of the handle through to knock that bar off. Okay? So we want to try and remove the whole thing if we can, great. But it's not the end of the world. You don't have to start screaming for a saw just because it's still hanging on back there somewhere. Right? <coughs> so there's going to be a station.